So moving on to the wide angle lenses. The thing is in the name only wide angle uh, which is the widest angle you can probably get in any lens. So the basic of wide angle lens it can capture wide angle of view in comparison to standard lenses. These kind of lenses are commonly used in landscape photography, architectural, weddings and so on. It is very useful when you see any groups of people. It is very useful when you want to capture any wider scenes or wider shots. These kind of wide angle lenses can make it easy easier to capture the entire frame which we want to see i personally use it for group shots tighter space shots like property or any kind of function is going on inside the house or outside both for photos and videos uh, wide angle lenses can capture at least of 70 to 80 degree their focal length are substantially smaller than a standard lens going below 11 mm or 10 mm it might give you a distortion so i will recommend it to go for a wide angle lens which can offer you from 11 till 24 mm which is the sweet spot for the widest angle lens hey guys welcome to the second part of wide angle lenses so as you also know that focal length is a simply distance between optical lenses center to the sensors i will divide this into subcategories so longer the focal length for example 100 mm to 200 mm more narrower the angle of view will be and shorter the focal length for example 11 mm to 24 mm wider the angle of view will be larger the aperture can also capture a shallower depth of field which is very useful for the subject to be in the focus and at the same time blurring the background so basically wide angle used in tight spaces can create distance between the sensors on the subject so it can be achieved without going very far from the subject so you can stay at the very reasonable distance and still create a distance the main motto of using wide angle lenses is to influence the audience perspective it basically gives the subject you know space to breathe in so these are the two examples of lenses which I use in my day-to-day -day life one is 11 to 16 mm Tokina 2.8 and another one 16 mm one f 1.4 for the Sony camera so basically the standard lenses mostly gives you the similar view according to the human eyes the main fact is standard lenses gives you the most similar view how the humans see the world for me and for the rule of the photography and the videography the perfect focal length is 35 mm for the standard one this is the ideal choice for shooting any natural presentations for example if you want to shoot any kind of you know straightforward shot like sitting and just taking the interview or something like vlogging anything right now which i'm doing so moving on to the next major topic which is zoom telephoto lens again i have to say that it's in the name only and uh, the zoom or telephoto can vary its focal length by adjusting various lenses elements which stays inside the lens which you can see here the advantages of the zoom lenses is they have smaller apertures the minimum it can offer you up to 2.8 f even though you can shoot wide medium and close-ups also with achieving great depth of field this is why the reason many photographers and videographers opt this kind of lenses for great versatility and time saving process so the basic telephoto starts from 70 mm onwards and up you could have a telephoto macro 2 example the focal length of 200 mm we'll take one lens example like this nikon af micro 200 mm one is to 4d here are some picture examples this is one of the reason why macro telephoto lenses perfect for extreme close-up shots so always consider while buying these kind of telephoto macro lenses that is the magnification ratio like I have explained in the part 1 video with the Tamron lens descriptions. So continuing with the minimum focus distance with this telephoto macro lenses is no brainer but you have to know that you are standing you know how much far and how much close to the subject so here are some you know telephoto lenses which you can use in which client requires in day-to-day -day basis so these are some of the lenses types you can pick up first in the list is 7200 mm uh, the most common lens to be used in portrait weddings sports and wildlife next uh, moving on 100 to 400 mm it's great for shooting subjects that are far away and tends to move a lot you know it's offer a lot of flexibilities it can 
be used in sports and wildlife next moving on to the 135 mm primes you know you can pick this in in any brand it give you you know much more clarity than 8 than 85 mm you know uh recently canon has launched their 135 mm also as you can see it's basically used in portraits sports weddings and wildlife lastly we have 600 mm and above so i will take this 600 mm as a example it's suitable for shooting images that are quite far away so basically you can commonly use these kind of lenses in sports and wildlife so lastly guys i would like to add one lens which creates very unique style is the tilt shift lens very rare people and cinematographers are use this kind of lenses to create a very unique visual style and effect so what is it you might ask it basically gives you a blurring effect to the shot in the edges like top and bottom horizontally if you are shooting and on the left side on the right side if you are shooting vertical so here are the some of the lenses you can check out so here we have canon ds that is still shift e mount 24 mm 1:3.5 l lens it is quite useful in you know uh, taking a video in miniature perspective can used in product photography in studios so can make more than three lenses i guess uh 117 mm this one is 24 mm and 190 mm we have other brands as well if you want you can go and check out some of the examples will be you know loawa and tartitians rokinon and many more so these are the some of the takeaways from these episodes of mine which is lens applications so the thing is different lenses capture the same thing in a different manner and a different style so i have not talked about the basic in depth one of any lenses particularly over here i just discussed about the you know um, focal lens of the different type of lenses and their magnifications basically which is very much important if you buy any kind of lenses so to sum up the episode i would like to go through each and every point first one with the extreme wide angle it basically creates a subtle fish eye effect which create intimating and seamless look but with a cost of distortion as well some would not like it but some would use it as its speciality of its nature second one will be standard wide angle lenses it gives you the flat image without noticeable distortion in most of the shots cinematographer choose this lens for conversation lineups in their projects third one will be normal standard lens if you are capturing it from the natural perspective view your shot will look a bit congested or a bit closer which makes you feel alive or present at the moment so i will give you the best lens you know uh, it's a holy grail of the lenses Uh, most of the photographer use which is 24 to 70 mm f2.8 you know it's a tensionless lenses fourth one the telephoto lenses so guys telephoto lenses you've got to have one it gives you the feel of a sniper and a safe player it takes distance image with seamless feature and keeping perspective of a standard lens so guys you are the one who needs to feel which lenses are the best for the occasions or the locations and the venue obviously following the correct methods and you need to understand the characteristics of every lens so all the cinematographer who are looking my video right now they knew what lens to be used in which situations and which lens will help you to tell a better story so that's it for the video guys there are two more lenses are there i want to discuss about but i will keep it for a different topic which are anamorphic and fish eye by the way it will be a separate video for it hope you enjoyed till here thanks for watching till the end if i missed something or you want to know more about any stuff please let me know in the comment section down below i will like to share and discuss on the topic as well so this is it for the video i will catch you guys in the next one later